Razor's Edge. How are you guys doing? Great, yeah, thanks. Well. Yeah, great. So, yeah. So we've had nothing for 18 months. What have you been doing to keep yourself occupied? Well, we've uh, we've been busy writing songs. Um, we was in the, in the parlor studios with Russ Russell uh, last month. They uh, recorded the uh, seven inch. It's going to be a double A side, and uh, we're going to record. We're going to film two videos for each of the tracks. One's probably going to be a live thing from all the footage from this today, and then the other one's probably going to be have a theme or a, kind of a story plot. And, and yeah, we've just been writing new songs. Um, we've got around ten songs for for an album. And yeah, I'm hoping today 11, we're going to speak some. Uh, yeah, we might push it to thirteen. We're going to. I'm hoping like to speak number. some uh, records for people number. today. You know, see what see what they've got to say. So, talking about the record company, that when I spoke to you last time, you said you were going to try and shop there after the EP. You were going to try yeah. and shop round to the record company. So, how's that going? Yeah, well, today after I've done press, that's what I'm going to do here. <laughs> it's like you know, you should sign my band. Sony, <laughs> Universal. Yes. Yeah, you know, all, all the big wigs are here. We'll find Brilliant. them. There is somewhere. Brilliant. So your first show at Bloodstock, early slot. I was at the front. There was a lot of people down there. A lot of people really enjoyed it. Yeah. I just think it went. Uh, it, it went. I thought it went great. Mm. I didn't fall off the stage. The pyrotechnics didn't burn me. I had a good time. You had a good so. time. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, and the, the response from the crowd. I mean, for a debut show, you know, we don't know if people like it or not. Yeah. So to see, you know, people singing the along, singing along, and. You know the merch and the crowd. Yeah, it was really, really. Good. And on day four as well. Yes. Yeah. When, yeah. when everyone few... hung over. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. We really enjoyed it. And how do you feel about today? So today we've got you guys on. We've got country as well. Malevolence. This is changing. The yeah. lineups of Bloodstock are changing. Yeah. For the better, in my opinion, sometimes we could do with something a bit different. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, um, I think there's only Hatebreed that's uh, played here in yeah. terms of like hardcore. So I'm hoping, you know, that from the reaction today that, you know, that they'll book more hardcore bands because... People are realising UK has got it all, bruv, I'm telling you. Yeah, UK yeah. hardcore at the moment is killing it. Like, bands like Malevolence coming. Yeah. yeah. Like, last minute as well. They, If they were added at the beginning, then maybe more hardcore kids would have come. Yeah. But it's a last minute addition, which is great still, because, again, they'd be exposed to a whole new crowd out there. Same with us, you know what I mean? Our first no, show. Definitely get exposed to such a different crowd like you know what I mean it was great seeing people wearing Burzum shirts you know not in the head <laughs> absolutely and I mean 20 years ago when you were looking you know back then when thrash metal was dying and everybody yeah. was getting into crossover yeah. the suicidal the gangrene the crumb suckers the DRIs yep. the world is it coming back uh, I think so yeah I mean I think Borstal's gonna bring it back too yeah. you know because uh you know, that's if today's performance is anything to go by, well, absolutely. Uh, we're, well, that's we're, where we're going to bring our own flavour, though. We'll do our yeah. own thing, you know what I mean? The vibes that we're creating with Borstal, I mean, even me, I think from track to track, they're very different, but they all gel so well together, you know what I mean? The vibes that these guys create as well, you know, on the songs. And you've I'm got like, that. Wow, I can sing on that? No, yeah, that's yeah, Borstal theme running through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crazy yeah. Shit. yeah. And yeah. It's maybe it's time for something new, you know, yeah. metal ghosting cycles, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. And maybe it's time for something new. Maybe the pandemic is making it. It's a new thing. I think I, I definitely yeah. agree with that. I mean, because we've all been like held prisoner in our own homes for 18 months. I know, I know speaking personally, like, you know, it made me realize how much I took my job for granted, how much I took traveling for granted, yeah. you know, and like now I will not complain ever again if I've got to wait eight hours in an airport to fly somewhere. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, now I do, and it's the yeah. same with the gigs. Like, because here we kind of spoil. It's the same in Europe, Germany. Yeah, yeah. There's gigs on every single day of the week, and people have only got so much money, so you've got to choose. Yeah. And I think because there's so much, it, we are spoiled, yeah. you know. And I think the pandemic made everyone realise, you know, how spoiled we actually were. And that's why it's sold out because. People appreciate it more, don't they? When it's taken away, yeah. you appreciate it more. And people are hungry this weekend yeah. to see bands. The tents have been yeah. rammed at night. Uh, I mean, yeah. everybody's into everyone, and I think that's brilliant for yeah, everybody. I mean, Napalm yeah. left last night. It was like oh, amazing. Evening. You know? Yeah, it sounds like everyone's just here to support the music. And, yeah. Uh, and that's respectful. what's really, and hopefully that's kind of brought that all together and everybody could just get back on with it now and start exploring new bands as well, like yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So you said you were going to be here the weekend shopping round. Yep. But are you going to catch any more bands today? Anybody um, you recommend we go and see? Uh, well, I'm going to watch Paradise Lost. 
And uh, I think I'm going to watch Grey for Phil. <laughs> Why not? You know? Are you on speaking terms with Danny? Uh, through our lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, lovely. Well, it was lovely to speak to you both. Yeah, I'm it's really been a pleasure. looking forward you. to seeing you next time in a small venue. Yeah, absolutely. I think it will Can't be wait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it really will. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews, and more, head over to our website, www.theraisersedge.rocks.